Hello, my name is Katherine McCracken, and today I'd like to tell you about an extraordinary woman by the name of Ann Thompson. She was a politician, a writer, a publisher, and a local newspaper owner, and one of my personal heroes in life. We will be speaking with two of her only descendants, her grandson, Sean, and her son, J.R., who will be explain her fantastical life story in greater depth. Ann Thompson lived to be 83 years old, and she is originally from Iowa. She moved to Lamar, Colorado in her early to mid-30s. She met and then married James Ross Thompson, but everyone called him Ross. She worked at a newspaper in Lamar, Colorado, where she actually met Ross. They bought it, and then shortly after, about after two years, they sold it. They moved to Rocky Ford, Colorado, where her and her family grew up, essentially. They started the Rocky Ford Daily Gazette, and it is still the smallest daily newspaper in the country today. She was the reporter and the publisher for the Rocky Ford Daily Gazette, and her husband, Ross, was the editor. In the mid-1950s, she read in for Congress for the state of Colorado, and she is the first female congresswoman of the state of Colorado, and this was from 1957 to 1960. Anne was a prolific traveler. She had this aspiration of going to visit every single one of the seven continents. She did not actually reach this goal by the time she passed. She got to see six out of the seven and the one that she missed was Australia. She was briefly in Antarctica for a few days because of a cruise ship, like just kind of passing by. And while she was in each place, she wished to make each trip a learning experience. When she was in her 70s, she took classes at the community college just to learn. She was very much into learning and gaining as much knowledge as she possibly could, regardless of the degrees and everything. Her son, J.R. Thompson, he still runs the Gazette today, and both of her daughters are now deceased. Her daughter, Annette, and her grandson, Sean, are two of the people that we were able to get the most information from about Anne. We interviewed Sean to get some more information, some of this information that we um are listing off to you about this amazing woman. She wrote her own autobiography, which took a few years to write, but she um, did finish it. It wasn't published on a grand scale. It was just for pretty much family and close friends. One really interesting thing about Anne Thompson is that she met several people um, who influenced history throughout her life. Um, such as every president from Dwight D. Eisenhower to George H. Bush. She interviewed them all, and what was interesting is she pursued journalism within politics, and she was on a first-name basis with President John F. Kennedy. So that's really interesting, and she was um, very good friends with all of the Kennedys, actually. And she interviewed just as many governors, if not more, than presidents. On a grander scale with the international politics and everything, she got to interview Indira Gandhi and Margaret Thatcher, and then several others who we were unable to figure out who she had met and interviewed. She was definitely a conservative Republican, and her grandson, Sean, would identify her as the conservative Republican. She was in groups, organizations such as Republican Women, Republican Caucus, and she also supported the ERA. And the ERA is, if you don't know, the Equal Rights Amendment, which basically just gives women equal rights based on income and all that good stuff. She was also involved in press women, so women who are involved in the press, and she was very involved in thriving these organizations. So now that we have graciously heard from Sean and JR, it's time to let the cat out of the bag. Ann Thompson is my great grandmother, and Sean, my dad, and JR, my great uncle. So I guess you could say the love for journalism and passion for politics runs in the family. My grandmother was one of the greatest journalism, 
journalist to ever live and strive to always find out the truth. One day I aspire to be as great of a writer as she was.